Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are both on this bitch. So we have Christian here today. Uh, I thought it would be fun if we did a video together. This is going to be a Q&A, but every time I post a vlog that Christian is in, you guys are like excited that he's in it. Like every time you guys ask like me to put him in my videos more. And it's like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, I guess I can. Um, so we're going to do a nice Q&A tonight. I thought it would be fun if we got drunk. Um, I just went on Instagram and I asked you guys some questions. So I have them all pulled up here. I screenshotted all the questions. This is Christian's phone. I would never use an Android. <laughs> I'm hoping to get a new one soon. Yeah, he broke his iPhone, so he's been stuck with the Android and I like bully him all the time about his green texts. We've been drinking a lot of Bud Light Platinum recently. Just because it's really good. It's like it'll get you drunk. The taste is good and it's it's nice. So it's too much of a bitch to have Budweiser. Uh, I'll drink it, but Yeah, I don't like Budweiser. It's he'll fall asleep uh, after one. Yeah, I'm really bad. Like if I don't keep drinking, I'm just like gonna fall asleep nine times out of ten. Um so this is a good one though. I like it. So the first question is one that I very much thought you guys would ask, and that is does your boyfriend smoke weed? Sometimes. I mean, um, when I'm uh, anticipating a drug test, I will stay away from it. Um, but when I don't, when I don't feel like I have anything going on, I'll, I'll um, do a little Yeah, bit. we we all smoke together sometimes and like watch like funny movies or like just a random fucking cartoon. Remember one of the first times that we ever spoke together? We were eating Ben and Jerry ice creams in bed. And I don't remember what movie we were watching, but we were so fucking high. I remember Christian got up to put the ice cream, like, away. Like, I thought I was going to put it back in the freezer. But this motherfucker sets it on the fucking bathroom counter. And I remember the next morning we get up and there's just, like, ice cream melted all over the counter. And it was just, like, ruined. And I remember we were so fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even put it in the freezer. I remember us harking it down in bed and you got chocolate ice cream melted all over my fucking sheet. I, I think the next morning we woke up with like chocolate ice cream all over our lips and like on the pillowcases. It was insane. <laughs> that was one of the first times we got high together. How did y'all meet and what were your first thoughts? So we met through Bumble, of course. I feel like that's how everyone our age like meets at this point. We was like, who the fuck like actually has like the movie moment? Where you like meet in person or like you drop something and the other person like picks up your pencil or something. We were know? about to lie to everyone and say we met at Target, but... Oh yeah, at, at first carry. we were lying and telling people we, that we met at Target, but it was Bumble. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, at all. So there was a lot of questions about kids and um, y'all really want to know if we're going to have kids one day. I'm, I feel like a child's... I feel like a kid myself still, like, honestly, like, so if we have kids, it'll probably be when we're in our 30s. I definitely don't want a kid unless I am putting that car seat into a G-Wagon. So unless I have the money for a kid, I will not be having a kid. Some couples have a song. Do you too? If so, what is it? If I were going to say what our song would, would be, it's it's got to be Only Want to Be With You, like the post song. Yes. I feel like that's definitely our song um, that makes us think of each other. And then we always play together. It's a very sweet song. Which tattoo is Christian's favorite? I gotta actually refresh my memory on which ones you got. Oh, I, I already know what your favorite is. What? It's the one you did on me. Oh God, yeah. Look at one of his previous videos. Yeah. If it's still up, I tattooed him. You gave me like a within a month or two of meeting him, I tattooed him. Yeah, was, <laughs> I think it was like our one month anniversary. He gave me a tattoo of a Shrek on my leg. It looks fucked. It's Giga Chad Shrek. He's got like you know. <laughs> really broad chin and shit he's just he's just out there he, he's there and he's not going nowhere <laughs> what is y'all's favorite thing to do together i love y'all so happy for you both thank you i would say our favorite thing to do together we play a lot of video games together i love cooking together we'll cook together every night and we'll just like eat dinner in bed and watch like a funny movie although like we have issues like picking a tv show or a movie because I like scary movies. That's because he likes scary movies, yes, but that is all he likes. So if it were arranged in a pie chart, I'm fine with pretty much every genre of movie, except for scary movies. I just, I can't do them. I, I don't like getting stressed when I'm meant to, like, relax. So um, the times that we do watch scary movies together, he'll, like, he'll say, like, oh, I can feel, like, how tense you are. And so he'll just back out of the movie. I'm like, no, I was trying to watch this. I just, like, when, I, when we watch scary movies, I feel bad the entire time because I feel like I'm forcing him to watch it so I can feel his uncomfortableness, like, radiating off him. 
and it just kind of ruins it. So, like, <laughs> we usually compromise. We're decent at that and, like, finding something that we both like. So, yeah, I love watching movies together. I love playing video games together. I like going on hikes. We do Matthew. go. We go on so many hikes. We, together. There's a lot of places to hike in Kentucky. That's one thing I will say that I I like about living here is that there's so many places to just get out and stretch your legs and um, especially just like you know fitness trails. There's this one that we love going on. We call it our ass beater. Yeah. Uh, it's two miles of. Uh, it's mostly inclines. Um, no matter, like, it's a circle, so no matter which way you go, there's gonna be some ridiculous inclines, and it's just, we'll do it, like, once or maybe twice if we're feeling silly and goofy, and after any time that we do it, we just feel really good. Yeah, we do go on a lot of hikes, we go on road trips a lot together. Honestly, anything that we do together is fun, like... He's showed me pretty much the entire East Coast at this point. I have. <laughs> I love it. The next question is, do you guys think you'll ever move back to Colorado for his family? I do. We, we talk about moving back all the time, not even necessarily like for his family, just because like we both find ourselves missing it a lot. Um, and we're actually going to be back in Colorado in like two weeks for Christmas. So that's like super exciting. I can't wait to be back. I can't wait either. I, so. um, I miss my family. Um, not that I don't keep in constant touch with them. You know, I, tr I try to. And um, we are planning on moving back. I want to say in like tentatively a year or so um, yeah i've still got college to finish up i um, i'm almost a uh, i've almost got a bachelor's in anthropology uh, what's your biggest pet peeve of one another okay i'll actually go first so mine would be is this motherfucker will go to take a shit and he will be in the bathroom on his phone for like 30 minutes to an hour sometimes. And I'll know because I'll get like a ton of memes just sent to me. And TikToks, like memes, TikToks, all this shit. My phone, as soon as he goes to the bathroom, my phone starts blowing up and it's for the next 30 minutes. And I guess it's not that big of a pet peeve, but sometimes like I'll have to use the bathroom while he's in there and I'm like, fuck, would he like hurry up? And like push it out or something? Cause like, I gotta go shit, you know? I've got a shitty attention span, pun intended. <laughs> yeah. So what is your pet peeve of mine, if you have any? In the morning, he is a goddamn demon until he smokes. Until he smokes, he is the worst person to be around. I really am. Like, bitch, I will wake up in the morning if I'm, like, just sober and wake up in a bad mood. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Pure yeah. hatred from the get-go. He'll, like, take a shower angry. He'll, like, start banging around in the kitchen angry. Yeah. I like my mornings. I like to, you know, feel, you know... Somewhat at ease when I get yeah. up, just, you know, ease myself into the day. Uh, I'll, you know, just like sit on my phone for a minute and check emails, you know, play a little <laughs> and game. Here I am like arguing in my head with someone over something that happened four years ago. I'm like, that motherfucker, I should have just like, I should have beat their ass. <laughs> and then like I'll smoke my morning joint and I'll be like all sunshine and flowers and happy. I'll be, every morning, anytime he snaps at me, I'm like, God, can you just fucking smoke? <laughs> The next question is, when are you guys getting married? This is a crazy question because usually, usually you don't know. And I, I feel like, for me, I feel young still. We're both very young. So, like, honestly, it'll probably be, like, a while. Um, shit. At least, like, I at least want to be, like, 25 to 30. Maybe 30. I don't even know. Like, I just, that, that just sounds crazy to me right now. Like when, like, when I hear people below 25 getting married, I'm always kind of like, damn, like, yeah, I've got a couple cousins who got married early. Of course, they're army wives. Um, yeah. And I'm just like, can you guys slow it down? Like, like, you got married out of high school. Yeah, I feel like marriage is fine, but it's also, like, nothing to rush into because it's honestly just a piece of paper, and it's like, we're happy. Like, I don't feel like I need a piece of paper to, like, Neither. validate a, a relationship, so. Yeah, as for me, I, I'm fine just, like, I'm fine until I can, like, be absolutely, you know, just at ease with the idea of getting married because yeah. it's it's a huge commitment and it's not that either of us have commitment issues. Yeah, it's I mean, not it's, that. It's just, it doesn't feel necessary, I think, right now. I think that's the word. It's like, I just look at people who get married really young. I mean, like, you know, personally, I'm like, you didn't want to, like, give it a sec? Like, yeah. live, <laughs> live free for a sec. For real. Know? And it's not that we're not committed to each other. We yeah, all Yeah, it's just... I don't think it feels necessary right now. I feel like when the time comes, it's a the middle time, age thing. It's a middle age thing for sure. The next question is: Does Christian get involved with your OnlyFans stuff? Yes. <laughs> At first, we talked about it a lot when we first got together, but we were always like, you know what? We need to wait maybe like a year 
maybe two years, and we actually did end up waiting like two years before we even filmed anything together. Um, but yeah, we have we have content on OnlyFans if you want to peep that, and it's not it's no pussy shit. It's like we got that shit on there. <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> um, next question is: um, Does Christian have or want any tattoos? Um, I do have one. It's this shoulder tattoo. It's a keyhole. It's my favorite symbol. I went with him to get it. I, and, um... It hurt like a bitch. <laughs> I could definitely tell that it was, like, hurting you. It, cause, it's because it's, like, right up where my, like, clavicle meets my upper arm. So it was just, like, digging right in there. And I was just... Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't like, you know, on top of the world at that point. So. Yeah, it does hurt when it's your first. Like, the pain can be really shocking. But I'm sure you do good now since you got, like, the first one out of the way. Yeah, and I, I, I hope so because I do want to uh, elaborate on it. I want to give you a tattoo since you gave me a tattoo. I would love that. I think I'm going to do that because I could really hook you up. Like, I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, I mean, he's done tattoos on himself that are, like, you'd think he'd gone to a shop for it. <laughs> the next question is, who said I love you first? That would be me. I'm pretty sure I was fucking hammered off of some... Strawberry Applebee's? daiquiris or something? No, I'm pretty sure I was fucked up off of some like Applebee's like margaritas or something. It was strawberry margaritas. Yeah, we went to Applebee's. I got fucking hammered. That was and... our spot when we first started dating. Yeah, we went we... to Applebee's like every, almost every night. We would go to Applebee's all the time. I remember one night, it was like probably like three weeks after we started dating. We went back to your apartment and I was just like drunk. And I think I started crying, <laughs> I think. And uh, then I said it. And then I'm pretty sure I, like, passed out after I said it. I reciprocated the first time because I meant it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I said it in tears and then passed out. No, so. he said, like, he was, like, crying. And then he, like, got a hold of himself. And then he rolls over to me. He's like, I love you. <laughs> I'm like, I love you, too. <laughs> Not the Applebee's. In what ways are you super similar, but also in what ways are you completely different? I would say that we're both pretty driven towards what we want to do. Like we both know what we want to do, and we're uh, we're pretty hell bent on what, on uh, on doing it. Really. Mm -hmm. I'd say we're both driven. I feel like when we're different, I feel like I'm really like a clean freak. I like everything to be clean, organized. He's not very clean. I mean, he's clean, but he's not like on my level of clean. Like when we first met, I would go to his apartment and clean his fucking apartment before I could even stay the night. Because like, how am I going to sleep in this if it's not clean? I. <laughs> started taking medication like a year ago and started just getting really better about you know staying focused and staying on top of responsibilities it's something every young adult struggles with i'm sure except for me except for him because he's like i don't know born with like a crack gland in his brain i basically do have like a crackhead gland going on up in here because like you know like when you like hear about people like doing cocaine and they like clean their whole house at like four in the morning that's me naturally <laughs> And I'll, I mean, you know, lately I've been getting better, like, I I know how to tidy up, and I, uh, I feel like I'm pretty good with it, and I'll... Yeah, you have gotten a lot better, I will say that. Next question, if you guys could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? For me, if I could live anywhere, I would probably say Hawaii, like, bitch, I'm trying to, I love the heat, I love the beach, I don't like cold weather, and I just feel like Hawaii would feel kind of isolating in a warm way, because it's like an island, you know what I mean? And I feel like I would enjoy Hawaii. So, what about you? Um, I would live in Edinburgh if I had a choice. Um, it's another island, but it's fucking freezing. I knew you were going to say some cold-ass place. Like, what? Like, why? Like, Edinburgh is a very nice city. I liked my week-long visit. Why would, you'd rather live somewhere cold than Hawaii, bitch. I'd like to visit Hawaii. I know I'd get bored of it. <gasps> With Edinburgh, it's so fucking big, you, you won't get bored of it. There's a different part to visit every goddamn day. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, what was your favorite day that you've been on? For me, I would have to say the time... Honestly, our first day, it was really good. Our first day ever, he came over to my apartment in Denver. Um, if you guys remember my first apartment. He came over, we got mac and cheese pizza, we got a bottle of wine, and we went to my rooftop balcony... And we drank it, and we ate it, and we just chilled together. It was, like, really fucking cold, but we still, like, went up there and just had a great, a great first date, honestly. One of the best nights of my life. I would second that. That's definitely, um, the first was definitely, like, um, my favorite, but that doesn't mean I haven't loved the rest of them. Same. I feel like every day for us is a date. Like, we somehow turn the littlest things into a date, and, like, I love that about us. What is the thing you like most about each other? 
So for Christian, I feel like he's very, like, I would say empathetic. I feel like he always, instead of, like, reacting first, I feel like you know how to go about things in a more calm, like, level-headed manner. And then whereas I am just, like, straight up, like, fuck that bitch, fuck that bitch, fuck that bitch. You know what I mean? And he's more like, well, what if this is happening? Like, what if, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm definitely his his advisor yeah. in a lot of stressful situations. Yeah. I would say I like that you are very emotionally sensitive despite your outbursts from time to time. I'm not saying that's something you constantly do, but when you do have, you know, something wrong and then you... I, I feel like you're just really emotionally sensitive when it comes down to it and you are very quick to ask if I'm okay or, if, you know, if there's anything I want to talk about. I feel like you're good at noticing my yeah. idiosyncrasies. Yeah, I don't like there to be, like, secret tension. Like, if something's bothering you, like, bothering you, like I need to know immediately. That's high school shit. Yeah, like, fuck that. Like, if something's wrong, I need to know right now. And if I have something wrong, like, I'll let you know. Because, like, if you set and, like, keep things, like, to yourself and, like, let it build up, it'll just turn into something terrible. It'll come up 20 years later. Yeah, and when it could have just been fixed immediately. So I don't like any of that shit. Um, so I feel like we're pretty good about that. And I, I, I like that we're both... We're a match. We're a match, bitch. Bumble said it. it has to be true. Bumble said it. <laughs> what is a life lesson that you guys have learned from each other? Ooh. For me, it would be... Christian has, like, a big family, and they're, like, close, whereas my family is not close, and it was just me and my dad growing up, and I spent a lot of time together. So, like, going and meeting his family and being around him a lot really taught me to, like, I guess it, I guess it taught me that, like, I have to, like, consider other people first before me, because, like, I've always just, my life and world has, like, revolved around me my entire life. So, like, when I met him, he has, like, siblings and family, and it's like, okay, I see how you you know, put other people before you. And it's like, that's something that I could learn to do and that I'm not good at doing. But um, I definitely think that's, you know, a good thing. I would say you taught me the opposite. I look after others way too much because of stuff that has happened to me and to my family. Um, I look way too into making sure everyone else is taken care of before I think about my own needs. And, um, when we started talking, I got to a point where it was unhealthy and um, I would say unproductive and or counterproductive, whatever the hell the word is. Um, and he definitely taught me to like, when it becomes necessary, say, fuck that. I need to look after myself at some point. I need to think about myself at some point. Yeah, because I feel like he's very selfless and I don't want to say I'm selfish but because I'm, I'm not really that selfish of a person, but it's just... You have, like, your own agency, and that's yeah. something I've learned from you. Yeah, I feel like. well, I that's good. I feel like, I wouldn't say I didn't have my own agency in a particular sense. I would just say that I wasn't um, always looking after what I wanted if it conflicted with other people. Um, but I've definitely gotten more into the fuck that mentality, <laughs> you know, when called for. Of yeah. course, I still look after people. I still love my family, but I also... <clears throat> Even coming here, I was looking after myself. How has the relationship been since y'all moved to Kentucky? I think it's gotten stronger. I think it's gotten stronger, too. I genuinely think moving here, we've just... Like, I don't really have... Like, I have friends, but, like, I don't hang out with anyone. I like to be to myself. I'm the type of person to where I like one-on-one -on -one interaction. Like, if I'm hanging with someone, I just want to hang out with them. Do you know what I mean? So, like, us moving here, it's just been us, you know? And I feel like it has given us time to be like together in the middle of nowhere just doing whatever we want together every day so it's definitely like built our relationship i think i feel like it's given us a chance to focus on um sorting out our relationship um wherever it went awry before i feel like before we couldn't uh we didn't have the privacy i feel like to just get to know each other properly yeah and now and, we do and now we do we really do that we're 18 hours away from anyone that i know yeah and you know um we really do just have the chance to like recognize what we like about each other what we don't like about each other what we can fix you know right i just really feel like i know what makes you tick at this point yeah same to you pros and cons of dating a stoner my boyfriend has a very long list <laughs> Ah, do I have a long list? Oh my god, I can't wait to hear this. I would say number one of pros. I would say when you're chill, you're really chill. 
he will like just he'll be really calm and hilarious and this is most of the time really he'll just be like you know easygoing and chill and like he appears on camera he'll be really just calm and happy and um i would say a con is that like i said earlier when he wakes up he he wakes up oh yeah <laughs> It's like, I swear, like, when I'm asleep, my brain starts to, like, function and, like, dig up shit from my past. You'll figure out everything that's wrong. I'll, th I'll wake up with a list of things to be mad about, bitch, and then I'll smoke that first hit. Everything's good. I feel like another con that I have, though, is that I'm always losing my fucking shit. Like, we'll be about to head out the door to go somewhere, and I'll be like, wait, I forgot this, and then I forgot this, and I forgot this. Where's this? Where's was, my keys? I was gonna mention that, too. He'll say, well, quit goddamn rushing me, bitch. When I'm like, okay, are we ready to go? I'll, like, open our door to the stairwell, and he'll, like, shove it back closed. Like, I need to go do this and this and this before we head out. He'll, like, try and make sure that absolutely every possible thing and is And then we'll spend of. 20 minutes looking for my car keys. It's the car keys. One time he thought his wallet was lifted at, like, a Cheesecake Factory or something in Knoxville. Yeah, I spent, like, a week thinking my wallet was gone, and then it was, like, in our closet. It was behind the kitchen table. <laughs> I don't even know. Your high ass just dropped it back there. I so. did. What is your shared favorite movie? That's a toughie. I, I know, I know what it is. It is Glass Onion. Glass Onion is our goddamn favorite movie. That is our favorite movie. Glass Onion. I remember last year when we went to Denver, we watched it with uh, Christian's family for the first time. And then we loved it so much. That but we... the first time we watched it, we kind of, like, like 20 minutes in, we kind of hated it, both of yeah. us. Yeah. But then we loved it, and on the plane ride back, we watched it on the plane ride back. And then we watched it, like, a million times since. Well, I would say we watched it, like... 10 or 15 times in the last year. It's, it's such a good movie. It's our favorite. It's like us in a movie. It is. Do you notice being judged more back home than when you were in cities? So, I guess, like, being gay in a small town. I don't really feel like... I don't notice a difference, personally. I, I notice zero difference, actually. We don't go in public, like, holding hands or anything. It's because, like, I'm not really big on that. And doing that in Kentucky would just... Fucking it's warrant. just asking for it. It's just asking for it. And I don't need Which the... I guess in itself is kind of a problem that you should just be able to hold hands. You should be able to just do it. But it's like you kind of have to be a little self-aware in places like this. It's something that we, we've never really encountered a problem with because we just kind of like... I, people probably think we're like brothers, honestly, in public or something. People and, have asked us if we were brothers so many fucking times. It's because yeah. we're not holding hands. Yeah, people always ask us, or like just assume that we're brothers. Like the other day we went to, when we were in Cincinnati, we were staying at this hotel. And the lady had my information and she was like, well, you two have a good night. And you too, brother Bailey. Because she thought he was my brother. <laughs> Would you rather smoke a blunt with Ice Spice or Nicki Minaj? Is that asking me? Both of us. I'm gonna say Ice Spice. I feel like me and her would get along really good. She's young, she's fresh, she's cool, she's she's hip. And I just feel like she'd be dope to smoke a blunt with. I feel like Nikki is like older and she has a kid now and she's just like really serious. So I feel like I'd be stressed out smoking a blunt with her. But I feel like if I smoked a blunt with Ice Spice, I'd be chilling, we'd have a good conversation and we'd laugh a lot. Nikki sounds like she would react the same to, as I would to smoking a blunt and we would like I don't know, both get way too paranoid, so I'd say Ice Spice as well. For sure, Ice Spice. Who gets on whose nerves more? He gets on my goddamn nerves. Do I really? <laughs> I would no. say I do. I actually go out of my way to get on your nerves a lot. Oh my god, yeah, when I'm pissed, he'll start <laughs> fake laughing. He'll deny it all live long day, but he will start fake laughing when I'm like getting wrecked and caught or something, and I'm just like, you know, everyone does it. I'm over here like thrashing and pissed off and... He'll just start, <laughs> like, he's all of a sudden in a better mood than me. And I'm like... Just because you're, like, getting mad and, like, dying. I don't call him out for it, but it doesn't help. It doesn't... Nothing helps except for just telling him to fuck off or anything. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like you... My inactivity, I'd say, would get on your Yeah, nerves. I feel like just... If, like... I, I'm like on a cleaning rampage and he's sitting there doing nothing. Like, I'll be like, this motherfucker. Like, I'll just, like, get in my head and just get pissed. And I, I don't know though, it's not that serious. Like I don't really feel like we get on each other's nerves that bad. But like when I'm getting on your nerves, I feel like half the time it's like intentional. Like I'll just like push your buttons. Yeah, and half the time with me, it's just like, I'm over here fucking chilling. Like I just did the goddamn dishes. Like leave me the fuck alone. I already did something to help. <laughs> 
yeah, that's pretty much all the questions, you guys. This was the last one. So I hope you guys feel connected to us. I fucking guess. I don't know. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, that's great. If you didn't, I don't give a shit. 